everyone it's Veronica welcome back and I'm excited today is gonna to be a very cute project and it's not gonna be that long obviously uh, so this is the one that we're gonna to do today so I do want to let you know that I ended up what you're gonna see in the video is um, a clasp a magnetic clasp that I put on there but I decided to change it because it was just getting caught up in the chain too much and I'm gonna use that clasp for something else. So, if you'll just come and join me today to learn how to do this very simple, beginner friendly, and you don't necessarily need to have what's here because this is what was in the Gemstone Orphanage uh, subscription box from homestrungjewelry.com, but you can use anything that you have in your stash. So if you have chain, you have beads that you want to uh, put together, jump rings, you're good to go. So let's get this camera turned around to do this beautiful project and let's begin. I'll see you soon. All right, so here we are. This is gonna be a very simple project. And uh, what I have here is three different clasps. And the only reason why I have them here is just so you know you can use a uh, lobster claw, you can use a toggle or a mag magnetic one. And I'm going to be using the magnetic one, which is what had come in the subscription box. This came into in the subscription box as well, but I'm not going to need that. And hopefully um, everything will work out. Um, I have three butterflies here. <clears throat> this one here is absolutely gorgeous. It's got some cubic zirconia in there. And it's kind of beveled a little bit. It's got a nice little curve to it, gentle curve to it. This one here is like a 3D butterfly. So as you can see, And this one here is just like a little charm. It's the enameled one that had come in also in the subscription box. And I don't know why it is, it seems so dark in here. Let's see, is that better? Okay, yeah, I think my, um, my light moved. That's what it was. All right, I think that's better. Okay, so today, <clears throat> I have some uh, Rolo chain. This is very, very tiny, so it's it's like a two millimeter. It's a Rolo chain, and this one is, I believe, a six. I think it's a six and a half. Hold on a second. I think I forgot. <laughs> Oops! I gotta turn this around. All right. It is. <clears throat> Oops. It's just under six and a half. Okay. And this one is three and a quarter. And this one is three quarters of an inch. Okay, so, and your measurements may be a little bit different depending on what chain you're using and certainly how big your wrist is. Okay. And, or small. So what we're going to do here <clears throat> is we're going to take the three uh, and a quarter and we're going to put this together. So we're going to, I have some jump rings here and I am going to put this one together, both ends. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in one end here and then I'm going to bring it around and connect the other end. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this. Make sure that that is closed. Okay. So I'm going to put that to the side for now. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> lay that here. I want this jump ring down here. So what I'm going to do is take another jump ring and I'm going to connect this to that. 
So this beautiful um, cubic zirconia uh, butterfly. And I'm going to connect that and connect it to this jump ring here. Okay. And then I'm going to close that. Now I am going to take another jump ring I'm going to open that and I'm going to connect this little piece here, the three quarter inch here, and I'm going to put that right in there on the bottom because this is, this butterfly is like a connector. I'm going to make sure. Yeah, that's nice and straight. So, so far this is what we have. Okay. So that is connected here. So now we're going to go ahead and connect this butterfly here. So I'm going to take another jump ring. These are my four millimeter uh, jump rings. You can get away with doing a three millimeter. It's up to you. If you want to do bigger ones, that's up to you. You're just going to have to make sure you get all your measurements correct. Because again, this is more for technique. So I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to go ahead and put that right in there. And then I'm going to close that up. See, this is very beginner friendly. Okay, let's lay that down here. And now I'm going to find the center of this six and a half. And how we can do that basically is to, let's see, maybe I'll use a head pin. So I'm going to use a head pin and I'm going to take one end. And hopefully we can find the center. If we have to cut off one link or whatever, we can do that. I'm going to put that in one side. I'm going to bring, whoops, slid right off. And then I'm going to bring the other end through. And just put that through here. Okay. So now we look for the center here. So a lot of the times what you'll find is that one piece will dangle down. So I'm, I'm going to take off one link here because um, it's, I'm getting that <clears throat> box shape at the bottom. So I'm just going to take off one link here. Let's see if that works. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so now I'm going to bring that up again. And hopefully, we'll get that center. Okay, yes. So now we have one of the links at, that hangs at the bottom. It's a little crooked. Hold on a second. So there's that center, there it is, right there. So I'm going to take one of a uh, jump ring here. Oh, it's connected now. <laughs> it's stuck. Okay. So I'm going to bring that. Ah. And get it through. Hopefully, it'll slide right through. Ah, get in there. All right. Guess I'm going to have to hold this here. And get that on there. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to have to get a better grip on this thing. Alright, so I'm going to hold that. I'm going to go ahead and close. Oops. Alright, 
hold on. Oh boy, I totally missed that one. Let's see if I bring it here. <laughs> wow, I got that one all messed up. It's so small. Oh well. Oh, here it is. All right, I'm gonna have to do that again because I'm losing the jump, the jump ring here. All right, let's try that again. All right, hold off. I know I'm in, not in the camera. Oops. Because these are so tiny. Uh. All right. Let's see. Is it even? All right. I'm going to move over just one. Sorry, guys. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? <laughs> See, we're on camera, so you know, you know how that works. It just doesn't want to get in there. Okay. All right, so now now that I got it in there, we're going to go ahead and close that. There goes my AC. I hope that's not bothering you guys, but it's, it gets warm. All right, so now from here, we are going to take and add that to here. Let me see, I want to make sure. All right. So I'm going to have to open that again. All right, where is the split? There it is. So let's just open that because I have to get this butterfly on and put that right there and then give that a close. Okay. All right. So what we have now is this. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, seriously, again, I had this thing together in no time whatsoever. So this is what we have so far. All right. So now I am going to, I have to have some more of the jump rings because one went flying. So now I'm going to take my magnet and put one on one side and one on the other. Oh, it's raining out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and find the opening. So I'm going to put that in one side here and I'm going to put the magnet, uh, the magnetic. Now I know it's going to stick to the chain because the chain is, um, it's an, of iron, but I 
have it sealed. Okay, and then we'll do this side here. Oops. So that one come, came off. Because it fell off out of this. When I closed it, it fell off. Okay. All right. So let's straighten that out. And we're going to put this on the other side. And there's the opening. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that through this loop. Make sure it's straight enough. And then I'm going to go ahead and I put that on here and give that a close. All right. So this is what we have. Okay, so basically, I want to find a, I think I'll need a bigger jump ring because I want to get this as a dangle. And you can put that anywhere. I'm going to put it probably in this area here. And it shouldn't stick. Okay, I don't see it sticking. So this is good that you can hang it near the magnet. And I am going to take, let's see, do I want, I'm going to take two of those so that it's dangling just a little bit more, not so close. Okay, where's the opening? There it is. open that. I'm going to put that on. Mm, let's see. Let me just close that. It'll be easier if I do it that way. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm gonna reopen that. I'm gonna put that right on here. I'm gonna put that charm right on there. Oh, I have a headache today. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna have to. Now I'm gonna attach it to. it on one of those yeah I'm gonna try it there if it doesn't work then we can always move it so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close that all right now so basically what this is is going to go on the middle finger. So I want to make sure it's facing the way I want it to be facing. Okay. So it's going to go on the middle finger. And hopefully we won't have to make any adjustments. Okay. So that's the only thing about a magnet is that they it wants to stick to everything. <laughs> okay, so flip that where it's supposed to be. 
Okay. And we'll get this butterfly where it needs to be. And then come around the wrist. I'm gonna make sure that it's gonna face the way I want it to. Let me get that on. Come up and around. Okay. All right. So I might have to. I might have to flip this around. Okay. So there you have it. It's a beautiful hand bracelet, and you have your magnet here. I have my other bracelet on too. I think it looks gorgeous with it anyway. Let's see if I did that. And there's your magnet here. And your little charm. And I think it all goes together just beautifully. So yeah, I'm going to have to flip that around. Um, so it doesn't keep flipping on that side. Because this is the side that I want to show. Because as you can see, there's some texture right there. But yeah. So there is today's project. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you will consider making that and use what you have in your stash, everyone. So I hope that you have a glorious, glorious day. God bless and we'll see you soon. Thank you, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.